In this lesson, we're gonna take what we looked at within the last lesson in regards to JSON data and take this one step further. So when we open up our generator, we see we've got a whole bunch of data here. So I can simply copy that, bring it over to the minifier, and then minify that data. So paste it in, and because of course we can't use it within this type of format, uh, we need to remove out all of the spacing. So that's where we use the minifier. And now I can copy and paste it within my JavaScript. So again, this is just route right now represented as a simple string, but it's a really long string with a whole bunch of information. And then now when it comes to JSON parse, we can parse through here and now we can begin to work with this data. But of course, we don't just have a single name that we're outputting, uh, we've got more than one name. So we've got a whole bunch of separate pieces of content here that we can work with. So when I refresh it, we get this undefined property, but when we look at our object, we see that we've got them all nicely listed here. So JavaScript and JSON parsing has really taken care of this really nicely, representing six or seven separate items or seven separate objects that are within the list. And then they all contain all of that data information. So we do have an option where we can pick out which object we want to look at. And now when I refresh it, so now we're looking at object number one in the list and we're pulling out that first name and last name. And this is how we can begin to start working through that list. And because we do have uh, a value there that we can look at, we can take it another few steps further where we can start using loops and I can loop through the number of objects that I have available to me. And so looking at here, I do have something called object length. So I'm gonna set that default value, so I'm gonna set i equals zero. So that's our starting point, and we're gonna loop it while i is less than, so the object length. And now all we need to do is increment i to, in order to complete that loop. And essentially what I want to do, so I want to set a containing variable. So we're going to use that my container and initially just set it to be blank. And then as we loop through here, now we're going to set some values to the my container. So I'm going to add in values to it and this is where I can take this first name and last name and make use of that. And I also maybe want to add in a line break there as well. And then now just output the my container. So a few things that we still need to make adjustments for. So we'll see how this uh, looks when we refresh it. And we can actually, uh, this gives us the ability to loop through all the items within that list. And of course, just as we are able to list them out, we're able to work with all of these objects as well. So another really good benefit of bringing in this JSON data within this type of format is it makes it really usable and gives us the ability to really easily work with it after we parse through that string. As long as it's formatted within a JSON format, we can parse through it and then we can start using it as objects within JavaScript and that gives us access to all of this data and of course we can make adjustments to it, we can make changes to it and as we've done here we can output it within our HTML.